Hi guys, Dave and Tex here, and what you're looking at is a little uh, green label uh, Yamaha I own. It's an older model, right? It's about 30, 40 years old. And I'm going to uh, electronically uh, set this thing up. I've always wanted to put a pickup on it. And I've got this care package, like I showed you before, from Guitar Fetish. And I'm going to cut in this little pickup controller here, right? See this? Pretty nice. Nice little GFS. And let me show you. It's got a built in tuner, right? Just click it on. I can zoom in a little bit. See, it's out tuned already. <laughs> So right at the moment I got a grounding issue with it. You hear that feedback? Well, that's because I haven't got actually attached to the guitar and grounded properly yet. So listen if you hear this. You know, that's not bad. I mean, <laughs> just coming right off the uh, dry setup on it. Not bad. And um, still have to adjust these poles to the uh, uh, string mount. Now you can mount this at the bottom and get more of a uh, treble, or you can go towards the neck and get more of a uh, rhythm type, you know, bluesy, um, you know, thicker tone to it if you want it. But uh, I'm gonna try it here for right now. Let me turn this thing down. But uh, pretty nice uh, little setup, and it's like, you know, $50 to get this thing. That's not bad to be able to have a uh, built-in tuner and uh, a four-band equalizer on your uh, acoustic. So instead of spending you know, two or three hundred dollars for a uh, acoustic that has this built into it already, you can pay fifty bucks and put it on one you've already got. Uh, mounting on these is very simple. Uh, basically you'll just take a template and make it uh, to the bottom body of this, right? Just enough to get this in. I don't know if I can get the camera on it. Alright. And uh, once that's in, it's all just basically uh, uh, screwed down to attachment and uh, it's set. Now, cutting into the guitar, into its uh, top side, as you see where these are lo normally located, uh, is a bit of an issue. Uh, best thing to do is actually take a, uh, a drill and uh, uh, drill down into it, then take a uh, uh, a uh, very special wood saw then to finish up the cut on it or you can actually take a exacto knife and pre-score it to keep from cracking anything on the guitar especially with age and this thing does have age on it so most likely I'll be pre-scoring this uh, where I'm going to cut and of course there's always a chance of using a coping saw on the uh, higher edges or higher curves on the body to get it started so you can get a saw down into it a uh, oh like a uh, 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 Gosh, what's the name of that saw, guys? It's the, uh, uh, it's like a little knife saw, right? Anyway, that's what it sounds like, and that's what it uh, sets up like dry. So it's not bad, and like I said, you can put this on the uh, bridge, or you can put it up on the uh, uh, neck, whichever you want to go. Right at the moment, I just didn't want to do anything with the pick guard, so there she be. Any questions about this or any other projects I'm working on right now, be sure to give me a holler. I'd be happy to help with anything you're working on to uh, modify your fakes or your guitars. Dave in Texas, have a good one. Bye.